Alright guys, this is Kim Mikey 4 here back again. Pretty much this is an update of my uh, Blue Galaxy project on my channel. Anyway, I've been busy. This is uh, my updated rig. Uh, this this case, a lot of people are going to ask. This is a triple, triple T standard case bench. Um, it, it is designed for water cooling, but he does, it, it's for like a benchmark type of a uh, computer easy pop in pop out you could do you don't have to do for water cooling but you could do it for anything else quite useful quite as easy it takes two ex radiators 30 uh think the, think the with the push pull is 25 mil with the both fans for thicker it could fit it you got to remove the these fans but um i want 30 uh 25 mil for a lot of reasons the ex radiator fans are really really good the the flush of the gap is quite good, just not visibly. And I think this takes all the way to extended ATX uh, um, um, motherboard. I think it's it takes quite big motherboard. It's like right right here. This is a standard ATX. You, so extend is like right here. Yeah, extend is like right here. Um, XL is like right here, then the extend is right here. But um, yeah, this is too big for me. Anyway, um, I have a uh, the Alpha Cool uh, fittings, uh, the 45 and 90 um, look pretty nice. So what I did is they start from the pump in here, from there this one goes into top. The reason why I did jumped over here to make it look because uh, I didn't really plan it how was the board going to be and all that so I jumped it to here and from here it goes back down from here the reason why I did this one top so it could have flush out this one I jumped a long tube I did it for a plenty of reasons why it looks better um, I like it just because of the LEDs if I want to do uh, cold cathode lights the reason why I did it, I jumped it in and put a 90 degree on top. And then jump it straight back, back in here. Do it from CPU if I do the EK bridge right here. And then the other card goes straight down. This one is okay for now. And the tubing goes straight back down. Throw the graphic card back into the reservoir. So you hear that tube. So pretty much it comes out pretty good. Um, temperature wise is excellent. But anyway, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my motherboard. This is a temporary board I've been using for almost uh, two years now. It's not there yet. It's the Asus or Asus M4 N75 TD with the uh, XSP, uh, XSPC uh, um, roster block. Uh, it looks better. I, people say to use the, what do you call it, uh, Something about it. Use the AMD Array Storm. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, this thing's been good. I'm gonna leave it there. This is gonna be the first time I'm gonna remove it in actually over half a year. I'm gonna remove it. Uh, I'll tell you why, you guys. Um, I have a GSCO Airy 16 gigs of uh, DDR3 1866 memory. Full uh, they're all good and verified and everything is pretty good. Graphic card wise, the EVJ GTX 560 Ti. Uh, here. With the back plate, it, this was uh, separately from it. This is custom and I ran into a problem with the plate. You know, I had a this screw right here is a 3 mil, 3.5, was it? Yeah, it's 3.05 millimeter screw. So it's 3 by, uh, by 0.5 screw to torque it. I used the original screws from <coughs> excuse me from um from the came with a water block. Went through perfectly fine. My optical drive is a t uh, uh Western Digital Caviar uh one terabyte and then my storage is a WD uh caviar black two terabyte almost full on that one too already and then my the power house for the work is actually uh, is the pump, the XSPC five and a quarter bay with the uh, Alpha Cool uh, D5 pump, the VP VPP single 
And then the fans, like I said again, it's like scalper fans. Very, the reason why these two are, are very loud because of uh, of the the motherboard. I used plugged in the three pins, but the f inner ones are and the inside of six are uh, PWMs. Um, I split them off, and I did a splitter, and I did a power them on, and then you turn them on, and then I did a, a control and throw the motherboard and do 50%. That's how I get, and I don't need to do anything like that. <coughs> Hold on a second. I'll show you real quick my, uh, my 3D, uh, 3D Mark Vantage score. This is, uh, an overclock version wanted to show you but whatever this is a pre uh with an overall score of seven uh p score of 17611 it, it varies but uh it's pretty good for uh quad core um it's this is uh, actually clocked at uh 4.25 gigahertz that's clocked and verified this is the 24 7 use playing games whatever the voltage is about 1.5. I just did it anyway, just to make sure it's stable. Um, GP score is 19,277, 19, and then overall uh, CPU is uh, under uh, 13,985. This uh, is pretty good for a clock. For only uh, stock clock is at 3.0, and I'm gonna do actual uh, a actual uh, bent um, the testing because I just got myself. Uh, a new thing on, I know this is gonna be old, but I decided to do this because I'm gonna wait for int uh, for uh, Intel. I'm not really happy with Aces Intel boards right now. There was nothing but nightmares, so I just took it back. But anyway, um, I'll tell you that is this stable and verified and everything. Here it is. The memory, the graphic card, you can tell already. 16 gigs overclock 900 I could do this at 915 but this it was having some weird issues the voltage NVIDIA didn't get their shit together and keep it locked or stay there idle is about 10 because it's cold in here my room is ambient temperature but it's about 27 it's like it feels like 62 degrees in here ambient wise because being cold full low is 27 I did a test mark like twice and then uh, let's do a little little test. You see the GPU just and these all the f <coughs> all the fans are at fifty percent right now, plus minusing two. But if I did them all 50%, they'll be quiet as a doornail. It does a very stressed testing on the on the full load. I've seen the highest was 42, but pretty much stable at that point. I'm going to do a further more testing on my GPU on a single card, but this is pretty much what it is. Uh, 41 Celsius right now at this point. 240 frames per second. Under two minutes already.
himself that. So idols about. Let's see, idol. Thirty-one highest was forty-two. So it's not bad. I mean, by seeing that right here, forty-two. Then twenty-six is like the lowest, but currently it's about thirty. So it's not bad. And he wanted to show you this too before I go to work. The three more advantage here. I'll, I'll put a link description of this actual uh, test mark so you guys get to see. And I'm actually going to get a new CPU. This is the AMD uh, HDT45TWFGR B, uh, BOX. This is the AMD Phenom X6 1045T. Six cores, six megs of cache, L3. Uh, three uh, megs of two cache, and then as I clocked at 2.7, and uh, it's a A and three 95 watts, just like the 960T. This is the lowest version of the six cores, but this is, has a lock multiplier. Um, I'm gonna see. I'm messing around with. I heard people could do up to four gigahertz. I'm gonna see if I can push them more to this to 4.25 gigahertz. But my, I don't like the uh, black editions because the messes around with the settings and all your overclocking. Alright guys, if you have any questions, you guys leave a comment. I'll see you guys a little bit later. This is Kill Mike 84.